have the pedigree that it used to. Most people find journalist to be synonymous with clown, and it's really not hard to see why in a lot of cases clown. when even today you have major publications like the Wall Street Journal in particular, who I'm going to name and shame real quick, who are writing goofy dog shit articles that are just blatantly wrong and misleading about Sam Bankman Freed. Sam Bankman Freed was the head of FTX, the True. cryptocurrency empire with billions upon billions of dollars in it that collapsed overnight and is a blatant case of fraud. But for some reason, Wall Street Journal and other publications, but Wall Street Journal in particular has been playing this game of hide Sam's cock in their mouth, and they've been <laughs> writing articles, like, refusing to admit- He has such a way with words, you know? Mm, he was very eloquent. ...admit yeah. that it was fraud, and making all it's kinds of weird fraud. excuses for sure. it, like, oh, the reason FTX failed was actually because supporters lost I confidence so, yeah. in Sam Bankman-Fried, or <laughs> Sam Bankman-Fried was the world's most generous billionaire who had plans to save the world, and now he uh, can't since his empire collapsed. We should have trusted him more. Small but it's, it's like wild. It, it is wild because, like, it's a big egg-on-your-face moment, so yeah. they, I feel like they just have to double down Yeah, I'm because that. they were like, oh, no, like, we got got, but actually we didn't. It's the... It's the market confidence, even though it like literally wasn't. He was just yeah. fraudulent. Like it was fraud. He was doing fraud. Smallest violin for a fucking criminal, a fraud. It's so weird. And it's things like that that give journalism as a whole a very negative reputation. I know I've already spent quite a bit of time talking about this, but it's just infuriating. Oh, no, he's not a fraud. It's because he was too nice and too smart. We didn't see the vision, so it's actually our fault. You know, <laughs> Sam Bankman Free to goddamn angel. It, it's fucking sickening. And it leads great journalists. Uh, my ADHD is crazy, bro. <laughs> there. And the one I, I want to talk about today is a journalist who is legitimately putting his life on the line in order to deliver extremely important stories to the public. And he's actually a YouTuber. His name is Friendly Jordies. He's a comedian who has, for the last couple of years, been very much delivering some of the hardest hitting journalism in all of Australia. And the price he's paid for this is a huge one. He's been threatened more times than Bugs Bunny by Elmer Fudd. He is constantly getting threats from powerful people. He's been sued. Even very recently, he was involved in a defamation case that resulted in Google, YouTube, having to pay $715,000 over this defamation case. He was labeled racist or an abusive for a series of videos he made talking about a person in power. He's done so many stories about corruption at even the highest level. And most recently, the, the scariest thing has happened to him. Yeah, His life was put in jeopardy. His house was firebombed. He made a video going over the situation, but it's also been reported by so many Australian news outlets as well. The situation is as follows. His neighbor's house was firebombed on the 17th of November. It was luckily put out pretty quickly. And then shortly after that, his house was firebombed and a lot of it was damaged, obviously. Now this appears to be a deliberate attack. The fact that his neighbors got firebombed and then he did makes it seem like they originally went for him to begin with, but were too fucking stupid to figure out which one was his residence. So they gambled on a 50-50 and lost. Kind of like when you gamble on a fart and shit your pants. But then they came back and tried to finish the job. It's fucking terrifying stuff. I'm going to play you a bit of uh, his interview with the media here when they were waiting for him outside of his house. I would hope that the oh, New yeah. South Wales uh, strike force that is supposedly set up for fixated people and terrorists no. would be looking into this instead of a comedian and his team for six months straight at the whim of a previous Premier that all of you defended for his last 10 years and then when he came out and even after it, all the New awesome. York stuff you're still sitting there defending him now. I saw all of your articles today where you all wrote all of the same little narrative that you write every time. I would hope that you would put just as much attention oh, on the fact that that stream, happened yeah. as you have on trying to assassinate my character over the last year. Thanks for your time. Did something well, happen here a week ago, Jordan? Now, his real name is Jordan, and even in the what face of his life being threatened, like, he still rolls up like, common collective. Like, what like are they Kratos. trying to say? Like, the, did something happen a week ago, Jordan? Like, what does that mean? You can stop me whenever I'm bad at doing the bad no, accent. No, I, I think I've kind of, I just thought you're Australian now. It's, so, ah! it's, getting, it's getting so good. You're so, <laughs> oh dude, I will run with that. I will run with that forever, dude. Doesn't even fucking matter. Yeah, I mean, my, yeah, his his shelter is associated, is, is tied to me currently. So he has to say that, I but do, I do. Woo, he fucking co-signed it, dude. It's over. <laughs> 
It's so over, dude. Keeping his slap in hand primed and ready for these media cheeks. And it's not like his anger is misplaced. He has had very less than favorable articles written about him lying. with a lot of labels attached to that, which <laughs> I don't think are deserved. When no, he's saying he's a Kiwi. Uh, oh, and he's saying you're a you're he's saying I'm fucking bad, but lying. He wouldn't even know. Yeah, you're Kiwi. What the fuck do you know? Fuck do you know it's about the Australian accent. fucking accent? Aussies don't care about anything as long as you don't make fun of Steve Irwin. Wait, really? Do you get upset? No. I, the, my, the first five seconds of my latest video, I make fun of Steve Irwin. I so fucked up. I, I, you should be in jail. Why did they firebomb your house for that? Hey, I think it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> what the fuck? The entire purpose of Jordy's content recently has been exposing corruption at the highest level, which is an extremely important thing to be doing, where I feel he should be rewarded instead of vilified. But, you know, that's just me. I don't live in Australia here. But he has been treated very poorly by the people that are now standing outside of his home, showing no empathy at all. No sympathy at all, just trying to circle around like vultures on roadkill to get their scoop for their clicks. And he rightfully is upset at them and points out a bit of the hypocrisy surrounding it. I'd also like to add a bit of context surrounding Jordy's statement about the fixated people and terrorist statement he made in that clip. Well, it's because one of his producers was- Jordan actually called you out in a recent video it's on? I heard some people saying that, but I have no idea what you're talking maybe. about. I don't know, maybe. I think he probably was like, uh, you know, he probably wanted like my coverage on a particular issue or something, but like, I um, it's you know, it's Australia related, so I probably didn't cover it. Called? What? Someone just said that's what he said. Someone out. he called me out or something in a yeah, video. Like someone held you accountable. Oh, your yeah. Australian accent. I mean, dude, Australian honestly, accent. like, yeah, he probably called me out to be like, dude, your accent is so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is very good. Yeah. <laughs> two, yeah, yeah. two in a row. It's <laughs> over. Two in a row. He was Two. probably in chat asking about Australian news and you told him to fuck off. Yeah, that could happen. He didn't call you out. He just made a joke and you were in it. What did he say? It was you and Pokey for a joke. Oh, he said he was going to start drama with famous people for views and called you and Pokemon on nothing. Oh, oh, that, that's not calling me out. That's like... More so calling train wrecks out, probably. Was arrested You're by the unit that that's supposed to be monitoring and stopping, <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, guess what, no, bitch? he didn't call me out. Yeah, you fucking, you fucking call me out, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's what I fucking thought. Um. Terrorists, I guess? It's the fixated persons unit. His producer was arrested. It is really for fucked up stalking. what happened to him, though. What a remarkable a joke. Yeah. It would almost be it's laughable insane. if it wasn't so goddamn scary. He was arrested for stalking and intimidating when doing their reporting on the person that they were talking about by the goddamn department. I really, I, the thing is like, I didn't think Australia was that metal. No, it's weird. Like it, it is weird. I thought they were like kind of pussies about stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. I, like that seems like America shit. Like that happens <laughs> in America. I'm like, yeah, of course. Does like, that even happen in America though? Like, yes. Well, like terrorism police just chasing down a random oh, but YouTuber. This was so strange though, because the, Producer Christo didn't even, he wasn't even attempting to do a piece on the premiere. Oh, he was giving he him. Was, he actually just walked past him and he went and he spoke to him. And then later they arrested him for mm. that. Yeah. I'm, it, so, it's just next level. Like, um, Does that happen? I mean, it happens at like a higher level. I think they do that regularly for... I mean, Edward Snowden is a good example of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they, they do it if you, like, really... I mean, uh, Chelsea Manning, uh, who is a community member, is a, another prominent example of this, right? Like, they will fucking torture you in jail if you yeah. actually whistleblow and, like, you know, leak documents and stuff that they consider to be really bad. But um, as far as, like, lower-level corruption stuff, oftentimes, like, I don't, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, Steven Donzinger, a uh, oh, famous yeah. example. Uh, the Amazon guy? No, uh, Chevron. The, oh, sorry, no, no, the no, no, that's Chris Smalls. Yeah, he's the rainforest guy. Yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. That Amazon. Um, he, yeah, he was literally indefinitely, like, jailed in his home for fucking yeah. straight up successfully suing uh, a, a major, uh, you know, oil company by American uh, yeah. courts. Yeah. So I think that's so I think that's how they do it. There is examples of this, um, but as far as like firebombing, 
I think that, I mean, that happened to like uh, Amaranth. Like it even happens to like lower, like non-political people. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's supposed to be about like, you know, threats, like terrorist threats. Like, holy shit. Yeah, that is, that is point, mind actually. blowing. So Jordy's really does have every right to, of course, be a crime or a crazy fan. Yeah. But considering how many people he's done. Or if it's is that time. public? Yes, dude. You don't remember when someone fucking threw a, like a Molotov cocktail uh, into her, into her trash or something. You guys don't remember that? Yes, someone did that. She tweeted about it. Upset. And obviously after his house being firebombed like this, it's a fucking terrifying situation. He does very deep reporting. He exposes a lot of corruption. And I feel like he's probably one of the hardest hitting journalists Australia has at the moment that I'm aware of. He's celebrated by a lot of Australia. Oh, Yo, doing. get fucking wrecked, dude. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Really, really yeah. Really journalism. It's all right. Charlie's like, who a mega lol? What? Boy boy? Sounds like boy boy. What? Fuck. Don't even know what that is. And the other the other guys is making fucking blade fans, ceiling fans and shit. Clearly not yeah, reputable. Clearly a, a journalist. Yeah, right? clearly not reputable sources of information. Fans as well for all of his reporting. He just basically now his you. life is in danger <laughs> and it's hard to say who's responsible for the attack. He mentions in the same clip that because he's been doing reporting on, you know, a lot of corruption at a very high level, it's hard to say who actually may have carried out the attack. Obviously, we've done some extremely uh, dangerous reporting over the last year, I suppose, of Every a bunch of extremely powerful people and, and corporations. Yeah. There is yeah. many it's people like that uniform. would want to do that. I obviously can't say who I suspect it is, but I do have like a short list in my head of who I think would have done it. What a fucking horrifying situation for anyone to be in, and yet somehow Jordy's maintains a very composed demeanor. He continues joking throughout the rest of the video, even joking about the situation, and somehow staying, like, calm and collected, which is fucking baffling. The man is just built different. He's got tungsten throughout his body. It's fucking wild. Now, it doesn't matter how you feel about political opinions or whatever, I think everyone should be able to agree that his house being firebombed is outrageous. That's a huge problem and it, it should result in a very thorough investigation that leads to people being arrested for this act. I think everyone should agree with that. But yeah, I want to mention that Jordy's also does have a Patreon if you want to directly support his content beyond just watching the videos. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. And yeah, I, I think this is just terrible that it happened and hoping for his safety in the future and hope. I don't know if he's a fucking massive Jordan Peterson fan chat, but like, I don't care. Okay. Like, I don't know why you're uh, so caught up on that. Like, I, I don't know. I don't care. His house got fucking firebombed.